Hey guys, it's Sty on Bean Mommy with Style, and today I wanted to bring you a special review on the 2014 Jeep Cherokee. And I just got this car and I absolutely am loving it, so I wanted to do a first impressions review. And then I'll do like a more in depth review later on, and I can talk about the different features and other models and why I chose this one. But first, today I just wanted to do a first impressions, the things that really stood out about it on the car to me, and what I'm loving about it, and just my initial thoughts. So first of all, I wanted to do this review and subsequent reviews because when I was trying to decide what car to get when we were in the market for a new car, I couldn't really find anything by actual consumers, that people that actually purchased the vehicle. And also for this car specifically, I found a number of YouTube reviews on the Cherokee that were like people that had gone to a dealership and like driven it around for 20 minutes just to do a review and that sort of thing, which were helpful in certain aspects but I didn't really feel like there was that kind of long-term knowledge on it. And also I couldn't find any reviews by females. So there was really some kind of like burning questions that I had um, and I just kind of had to try out the car on blind faith. So to give you a little bit of background about myself in case you haven't seen my channel before, I am a mommy, a 30 something, and I have two little girls that are in the back seat, two preschoolers. I have a four year old and a two year old. So how comfortable the car was going to be, how kind of durable or how substantial it felt was also very important to me and how it functioned with kids and doing my daily life type of activities was also very important to me. So those were my three kind of main things I was looking at when I was looking for a new car. So comfort, how substantial it felt, and then the functionality of the vehicle. And after looking at a number of different models, I did look at the town and country, the caravan, I decided those were a little bit bigger than I wanted to go at this time with two children. I also compared this vehicle to vehicles like the Dodge Journey and things like that. And ultimately, I just kept coming back to this car. I would sit in the vans at the dealership and I would wanna get out of them immediately and walk right back over to the Jeep Cherokee and sit back in this one. I just felt like this one also encompassed my personality as well. If that makes sense I just feel like this had the most personality and the more I drive it the more I really see the personality come out in it and I just am loving it so my first impression of reviews um, initially the interior wonderful it's absolutely gorgeous you guys know that on my other channel I focus a lot on handbags and leather goods and that sort of thing so this is the interior of the Jeep limited and I absolutely love the seats on it I love the detail and the kids are loving it too <laughs> <laughs> Say hi. That's what two Brightex car seats look like back there. I really like the display screens. This is the larger one in the center and it's also a touch screen so you can do a number of different things here on the touch screen like changing it back and forth. I'll show that in a minute. And then it's also got the screen here in the center where you can find out the different things about your car. So I really love this as well. Just being able to flip through and find the different things about the car here. We did end up going with the four cylinder engine because I wanted to try to get the best gas mileage possible. And right now it's averaging 20 in the city and that's literally you can see it doesn't have that many miles on it. It's got 150 miles on it and I probably only put about 50 to 70 of those on there. So um, I really don't have a good sense for its fuel economy. We are getting ready to go on a road trip with this car. So I have a good sense of its road trip capabilities and its road trip gas mileage in probably a few weeks. Um, I really love having the speedometer here in the middle. Oh, that's the display that I keep up all the time. And then it also has the regular tachometer speedometer thing over there. Um, it has you know all the information that i need just a basic information right here and then i'm sure there's additional information in here that my husband would like to use as well the steering wheel is very very comfortable i like the size of it um you know it's just a really good size for my hands and it's very comfortable to hold it's got all of the accessibility buttons over here so it's got the different child locks and then the windows the mirrors all those sorts of things my seat is adjustable it's electronic it's all down here in the side 
It's got all the controls for the Uconnect over here, which I am loving, and then controls over here for the cruise. And then on the back of the steering wheel, there's actually controls to change the volume on the radio and to change the different inputs and everything. So I love that as well. There's a free trial of satellite radio included, and we did also get the five-year warranty that includes roadside assistance. So I feel very, you know, just all that's taken care of. Um, and I'll try to get into more like details so when I do this review um, like a more detailed review but this is just kind of a first look type of thing all these controls are very easy to use I'm 5'4 just for reference and I feel like this car is just molded to me I feel like everything's you know within easy reaching distance um, this center console area is very comfortable as far as putting my elbow here so I'm about 5'4 and I'm you know probably about average female height i'll be interested to see when my dad gets here who's six foot tall um how it works for him someone that's substantially taller but for someone in my height range this works perfectly everything's within an easy you know range to get to and i don't have problems getting out in and that sort of thing so i'll give you a quick look to the outside in just a second the other thing that really stood out to me and why i really like this car was all the little details like all the nooks and crannies in it so um up here there is this center area which I actually have my old garage door opener up there um, there is a garage door opener built in but if you have a security system um, it has to be programmed a special way so my husband's gonna take care of that at some point up here is the little Jeep guy that I mentioned in my initial look at the car and I just think that the little details like that are so so cute there's little areas up here where you can stick different things like I have my plug-in for my charger over here there's just like the regular dash area the thing that I think is really cool so I have my handbag over here is that I can move this and if you had gone shopping or something like that you could stick small packages down in here let's say you're going to lunch with your girlfriends afterwards you didn't want to keep you know bags that you've gotten that were important um, out on the seat you could stuff them down in there there's an area here in their center console where you can put paperwork and things like here in the top and also there's a place for your phone cord to go through here to charge so I'll probably eventually use it for that as well and then a larger deeper area where you can stick different things down in there you can see I haven't really tried to clutter up the car yet back here the kids Brightex car seats fit just fine and they are larger <laughs> car seats so um, the kids are loving the Jeep as well and then the last thing I'll just touch on real quick is the start stop button. I love this. It's got the electronic keys, so I can just use this to turn it off. And then if I want to restart it, I put my foot on the brake and then I push this button and it starts right up. So this also has the remote start and the keyless entry. So I'm loving both of those features as well. Here's a quick look at the outside of the all new Jeep Cherokee. I absolutely love the styling of this. I love the crossover SUVs that are a little bit higher off the ground. They just give me a little bit more peace of mind with young children. And I really like the styling of this. From the side, you know, I think it looks really, really good. But then the thing that really got me about this car that I absolutely loved was the front. I think the front end on this is really, really like one of the big things that sold me. And I know that this is a very hot button issue. A lot of the males don't really like this, but I love the front end on this vehicle. I feel like it's just so intense and I just, I love the headlights on it. I know that it's really a hot button issue with um, some males that like the more traditional Jeep styling, but I just feel like this is modern and just really has some personality to it so I love it. So it's got their traditional seven slot grill here on the front and I really love the headlights. You actually can see that the the main headlights are actually here and then the fog lights are down here and then those are actually your turn signals and there's LEDs running across the top. Um, the wheels on the Limited are the chrome. I believe it's different on the other models. So this is what the back end looks like and the back end is extremely the front was really the personality for me and the back is really the functionality for me so I feel like I can see out of the car really nicely in all aspects and then on the back it's really easy to open it's just right here with the license plate and you can see I have um, the girls little body seat back there actually but then there's this it can lift up and it easily goes back here to cover up the top if you have packages and things like that that you want to be hidden it's got this little bar over here that you can actually hook different hooks that came with the car on and put your reusable shopping bags on here and then this lifts up this is one of my favorite features 
It actually lifts up to show a number of different storage areas down here to keep everything organized and it's not rolling around. So for long-term storage items like, you know, jumper cables and things like that, this is a really good area to stow things like that away. I'm actually planning on keeping things like some extra diapers and things down here as well. Another feature which I really loved on this, which is a really small feature, but I think that this just grabbed me, are the little <laughs> turn signals on the side of the mirror. I absolutely love that. And so that was just a really great addition to the car for me. So those are kind of my initial thoughts on the all new Jeep Cherokee and the things that I liked about it that fulfilled the comfort, the substantialness about it, and also the personality. And so far I've been loving it. I'll try to do a more kind of in-depth review on the Limited because I actually didn't see that many reviews on the Limited. They were all on the quote unquote lower line models. Um, but so far I'm really loving this car. I think it was absolutely the right choice out of all the different things that I looked at. This is the one that just seemed like me. It just seemed like it fit my personality. It fit my life, what I wanted to do right now. And um, I just, I think it should be a great fit. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this review. Let me know if you guys have any questions down below and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.